Right, so we received two fundamentals of uh, fundamentals of fluid flow. Uh, we have three main equations for hydraulics. So the first one is the continuity equation. Then we have the energy equation or the Bernoulli's equation. Then lastly, on the last part of hydraulics will be the momentum uh, equation. So for continuity equation, on the first one, uh, for example, we have this uh, pipe connection. Let's say uh, in series. I say this is pipe number one and uh, pipe number two. Uh, let's say this is discharge one and uh, discharge number two. So discharge or flow rate is equal to the area of the pipe, cross sectional area of the pipe times the uh, velocity. So by continuity equation or from the law conservation of mass, the discharge on pipe number one should be equal to the discharge pipe number two if they are connected in a uh, series. This is the same as area 1, B1 is equal to We have area 2, uh, B sub 2 So for example, we have pipes that are branching out or uh, We have pipe connected in pa or parallel connection of pipes Let's say pipe number 1, pipe number 2, and pipe number uh, 3 so let's say this is a discharge number one, a discharge number two, and discharge number, a discharge number three. So the continuity equation will be from the source Q1 should be equal to the sum of Q2 plus by Q sub uh, three. So that will be the continuity equation for that, uh, for that case. So simple lang ang continuity equation, but it is very useful when it comes to uh, analysis of fluid flow in closed cone fluids or uh, pipes. Then we proceed to energy equation. So energy equation or, or the Bernoulli's equation. So let us first uh, consider the different uh, e energy energy heads. So we have all right, this is the first one. We have elevation head. All right, for the elevation head, so some references they're using Z to represent uh, elevation head. This is this uh, Z. That is the ratio of the potential energy of the fluid divided by its own uh, weight. So what is the equivalent of potential energy? That is mass acceleration due to gravity times the height divided by the equivalent of the weight is mass times acceleration due to uh, gravity. So basically we have Z is simply equal to H. So the elevation of a given point in a, uh, of, in a given point in a fluid flow. So after the uh, elevation head, so let's say this is the uh, pressure head. So pressure is basically equal to gamma H. So take note that we are dealing with fluid flow in closed conduits. So we assume that the fluid inside that conduit is uh, pressurized. So the equivalent head will be equal to the pressure divided by uh, unit weight. Then we have, this is the velocity head. Our velocity head describes that is the from potential to kinetic stationary liquid to moving liquid. So potential energy of a body is always equal to its kinetic energy. Potential energy is mass acceleration due to gravity height equal to kinetic energy one half mass velocity squared. So canceling the mass, if you're looking for the equivalent head H, is not equal to this is the V squared divided by uh, 2G. So these are the three uh, different heads. Okay, so let us analyze, for example, one uh, fluid flow.
Okay, so for example, we have a fluid flow of a pipe from point 1 to a point 2. So let this be our reference line or okay, the datum line. So from the reference line starting at point 1, so let's say the flow is from point 1 to point 2, okay, this will be our elevation of a point 1, or the elev yes, elevation head of a point, point 1. Let's say this is uh, say sub 1. After, after the elevation head, uh, we have the P1 over gamma, uh, that is the pressure head at point 1. Then we have the velocity at 1, B1 squared over uh, 2G. Then all we have to do is draw a horizontal line towards the other or towards the second point. So supposedly the energy will go down. This is the energy grade uh, line. Take note that the energy grade line goes down with the direction of flow. So, bakit siya bumababa? That is because uh, we have the head loss. So, magkakaroon siya head loss, the energy grade line will uh, go down. Then, okay, the same elements, this is the velocity head at point 2. Then, we have the pressure head at point 2. Then, the elevation head at, okay, elevation head at point uh, 2. So, if we are to construct, okay, from uh, the energy equation, this is from uh, the law of conservation of energy. The energy at point 1 should be equal to the energy at uh, point 2. Energy at 1 is elevation head plus the pressure head at 1 plus velocity head at 1. Okay? That is the total energy head at 1. Should be equal to the total energy head at uh, point 2. So we have this is starting with the head loss plus the velocity head at point 2 plus the pressure head at point 2 then okay, lastly the elevation of point 2 so this is for the case that we don't have a pump or a turbine so that will be the equivalent of the uh, energy equation for that as pipe situation so let's have an example okay, so let's have an example so a pipeline gradually enlarges from uh, 300 millimeters in diameter at point A to 600 millimeters at point B. The velocity at A is given as uh, 4.6 meters per second and the pressure at A is given as 270 kilopascals. Assuming that 1.2 meters of head is lost between A and B or nilagay na lang siya as point 1 and point 2, I determine the pressure at B if it be 7.5 meters lower in elevation than, okay, than A. Okay? So let's first uh, construct our energy uh, equation. So let's say wala namang binigay na elevation between, between uh, points A and B. Uh, wala namang binigay na elevation. Difference in elevation na yung given. Pwede kong i-assume na si point B will be elevation 0. So elevation din na lang sa 0. So, ito yung ating uh, reference line. So, we have 7.5 as elevation in point A. So, on top of that, we have okay, the pressure head at what, uh, point 1 or point A, P1 over gamma. Velocity head, this is uh, B1 squared over uh, 2G. Alright, then all we have to do is draw a horizontal line towards the second point. Alright. Then, alright, so this is our energy. This is the energy grade uh, line. So, bakit siya bumaba? Because we have a head loss. For this problem, given yung head loss niya, equal to 1.2 uh, meters. Then we have, this is the B sub 2 squared over 2G and we have the P sub 2 over gamma and since elevation 0 na si point B that will be our elevation head at uh, point 2 let's say the same as uh, 0 alright so given na yung B1 4.6 meters per second we don't have yet uh, B2 doon papasok yung continuity uh, equation so, continuity equation, we have discharge okay, discharge number 1, this is Q1 is equal to okay, Q2. This is the same as area 1, B1 is equal to area 2, B sub, uh, B sub 2. 
So our area 1 diameter is 300 millimeters. This is 0 0.3 squared pi divided by 4. Velocity at point 1 binigay ito as 4.6. Equal to area 2, okay, given diameter is 600 mm. We have 0 0.6 squared pi, this is divided by 4, times velocity of uh, 0.2. Let us compute velocity of uh, 0.2. And this equal to, we have 1.15 meters per uh, second. Okay, so I think complete na ito. All we have to do is substitute everything dito sa energy equation. So the energy equation, starting from our reference line, we have elevation head, 1. We have this, uh, the P1 over gamma plus B1 squared over uh, 2G. That is the total energy head at A or at point 1. So B equal to, on the other side, okay, is equal to start tayo sa head loss plus the velocity head B sub 2 squared over 2G, okay, plus the P sub 2 over gamma plus elevation up, okay, elevation up 0.2, then by substitution, we have elevation of 0.1, 7.5 meters plus P1, binigay na 270 divided by gamma water, 9.81 plus by B1 given siya na 4.6 squared this is divided by twice of 9.81 should be equal to head loss also given as 1.2 plus B sub 2 1.15 this is squared divided by twice of 9.81 plus pressure of 2 yung hinahanap natin P2 over 9.81 plus Elevation of 2, yun yung reference point natin, equal to, okay, zero. So, computing for pressure at point 2, And this equal to, and the pressure at point 2 is going to equal to 341.7, 22 kilo pascals. So, you can that then, pressure at point 2. And so, let's have an example of uh, fluid flowing pipes, uh, this time with a pump. So water enter, enters uh, through a 500 millimeter diameter inlet pipe under a pressure of 15 kilopascals. It leaves through a 1,000 millimeter diameter exhaust pipe with a pressure of 5 kilopascals. If the center of the outlet, so point number two natin siya yung outlet. If the center of the outlet is 3 meters above the center of the inlet pipe and ito, given yung discharge natin, that is 500 liters per second of water passes to a motor. Determine the required energy in watts to be supplied to the uh, motor if its efficiency is 85%. Uh, but before we uh, determine that, set, let us just set up our energy equation. I saw Ano ba yung tsura ng energy equation natin kapag merong involved na APA? So again, we don't have the elevations. So, gawin natin ito as elevation uh, zero. Yun na yung ating uh, reference. So, starting with point one, again. So, this is elevation at point one. So, supposedly, paakyat yung tubig. Okay? Supposedly, nandito, for example, Okay, for example, nandito yung ating pressure head at 1, P1 over uh, gamma. Then we have, the next one is the velocity head, B1 squared over at uh, 2G. So, bakit may pump? For a reason, uh, maybe, hindi makakit yung tubig. Okay? You, uh, the energy is not enough to carry the water up to uh, point 0.2. Kasi supposedly, from point 0.1 up to the pump, 
magkakaroon tayo dyan ng head loss. Okay, one head loss. Uh, let's say this is head loss number one. So, ano ba yung purpose ng pump? Uh, let's say, hindi pa lang natin yung point na to. Yung purpose ng pump is just to add the energy or just to add the head or just to, yun nga, itataas yung energy head natin para, uh, yung energy head ng tubig para umaka. So, let's say this is the head added by the pump. Let's say this is 8 sub. Uh, let's say 8 sub O. That is the out, uh, output, head output. Or sabihin na lang natin muna, the head added by the pump, 8 sub uh, P. Then, again, draw horizontal line towards point 2. So, supposedly, magkakaroon ulit tayo dito ng another head loss. This is head loss number uh, 2. Yun yung head loss from the pump to uh, point number 2. Tapos, Again, nandito yung ating mga energy heads The velocity at 2, V sub 2 squared over 2G Then the pressure head at 2, P sub 2 over gamma Then yung elevation natin at point 2 Then we have, okay, narating na natin yung ating uh, reference uh, line So if we are to construct our energy equation Starting with uh, elevation head at 1, Z1 plus uh, The pressure head, P1 over gamma, velocity head Okay, then, kung makapansin nyo, Z1, P1, P1 squared. Kaya lang, baba ba ito? So, going down, that is minus head loss number 1. Okay, that is from point 1 up to the uh, pump. Pero ano yung gagawin ng pump? Okay, mag magdadagdag siya ng energy head. So, that is plus the head added by the pump. Okay, so that will be uh, the uh, point. So, yung height ay uh, yung energy na to. This energy head up to this point should be equal to the total energy head at uh, point 2. Kung baga, the energy at point 1 plus the energy added by the pump should be equal to the energy at uh, point 1. So this is equal to, okay, from this point should be equal to this high. That is equal to head loss number 2 okay, plus the V sub 2 squared over 2G plus the P sub 2 over gamma plus elevation of uh, point 2. So as you can see, we don't have yet the velocities. Just to deter, uh, first determine the head added by the uh, pump. But uh, given, I think kanina, yung discharge equal to 500 liters per uh, second. If you are to convert this one, this is, we have 1000 liters is to 1 cubic a meter so we have a discharge of 0 0.5 cubic meter per second I think that is 500 liters per second okay, 500 meters per second so by continuing the equation the discharge equal to discharge at point 1 equal to discharge at point 2 we can now determine the velocities so we have this is a 0 0.5 equal to, what well, is our first diameter, 500 mm. That is 0 0.5 squared pi divided by 4 for velocity 1. So let us compute for V1. Okay, so velocity of flow per pipe number 1 is 2 point. Uh, 5, 4, uh, 6 meters per uh, second. Then next is we have the discharge. This is 0 0.5. Okay, the equivalent. Okay, this is for the second pipe. That is 1,000 milliliters or 1 meter squared pi divided by 4, velocity number 2. So we have uh, velocity number 2. Okay, so let's say we have, that is 0 0.637 meters, meter per second. Okay, those are the uh, velocities. Okay, I think we may now uh, substitute these values to the energy equation. So again, what is our elevation 1? Since it is a reference point, elevation uh, 0. So this is 0 plus pressure head at a uh, pressure at point 1 that is 15 divided by 9.81 okay plus b1 
we have this is 2.546 squared twice of 9.81. Alright, then minus, I right, how about the head losses? Right, for this problem, we don't know the distance from point 0.1 to the bump and bump to point 0.2. So we may consider that it's a very short distance. Kung masyadong may isi lang yung distance or length ng pipe na kinoconsider ninyo, you may neglect head loss. So this head loss is zero a zero. For, for problem solving, kapag walang head loss na given, you may neglect. Kapag short yung pipe or malapit lang yung distance na kinoconsider mo, you may neglect head loss. So zero head loss plus the head added by the uh, pump. Should be equal to, we have B sub 2 and it's, uh, Equal to B sub 2 What is our B sub 2? We have 0 0.637 uh, A squared divided by twice of 9.81 That's for B sub 2 Plus the pressure of 2 is 5 divided by 9.81 I plus elevation of point 2 is uh, 3 So, makuha natin yung head output of the pump Okay, let us compute Okay, so the computer will be equal to 1.671 meters. Okay, that will be the head output of the pump. Okay, we now have the head output. How to compute for the requirement. So the given efficiency is equal to we have 85 uh, percent. So efficiency, let's say this is uh, efficiency is basically equal to your output by uh, divided by the input. Alright, so output over the input. So let's say we have, this is 0 point, uh, that is the same since we are dealing with the heads. So let's say this is also head output is equal to the head of the pump or head added by the pump, 1.671 meters. So efficiency is also equal to the head output divided by the head input. So we have this equal to 0 0.85 is then equal to head output. 1.671 uh, liters. So what should be the value of the head input? So head input is equal to 1.9 So we have a head input of 1.966 uh, I think 1.966 uh, meters. So we are looking for the power input or based on the question. So determine the required energy in watts to be supplied to the motor if its efficiency is 85%. So this is the same as the power, uh, power supply. Yung sinasabi niya dyan na power supply is the same as the power input. 
Okay? Ang hinahanap natin dito na power supply daw is a power input. So, how to compute for the magnitude of the power? Okay, so for power, the magnitude of the power is equal to the unit weight. Okay, this is the discharge times the head. So, depende kung ano yung head na gagamitin mo. Kung head loss yung ginamit mo, ang kinukuha mo is power loss. Kapag head output yung ginamit mo na head, ginamit mo na head, kapag head output ang ginamit mo na head, that is power output. Pero kapag head input, Kapag head input yung ginamit natin, this is gamma water, discharge. Kapag ginamit natin is head input, obviously, ang makukabit natin is yung power, by the power input. So, we having the power input is na equal to, gamma water is 9,810. This is newtons per cubic uh, meter. So, we have the discharge, given yung discharge kanina na 500 liters per second or 0 0.5 cubic meters per uh, second head input computed we have 1.966 meters so if you have to do unit analysis okay power input unit analysis natin dito is cancel yung ating cubic meter the remaining unit will be newton meter per second or that is the same as the joules per second or the same as the watts. So, since yun naman yung units na uh, required. So, computing for the power input. Okay, so, we have a power input of 9,000. 643.23 Okay, 9,643.23 watts Newton meter per second or joules per second or the same as watts So what about if we are to convert uh, This is already our final answer just to convert it to power or horsepower, power input is equal to 9,643.23 uh, watts. This is multiplied by 1 horsepower is to 746 watts. So just, uh, but anyway, ito na yung sagot natin since the required unit is watts. Just to convert it to uh, horsepower, Alright, this is the same as 12.92 uh, seven force power. Yeah. Alright, this is our example for fluid flowing pipe with pump.